All right, what's going down with everybody? It's the kid, DC Wrestling. So next Saturday night is AEW's next pay-per-view, AEW Wrestle Dream. A lot of wrestling been going on, man. Obviously, as I'm recording this video, we're about a couple hours removed from WWE's Bad Blood, which was a crazy overall event. But WWE had their turn. Now it's AEW's turn. So just looking at this card, you know, should be a really good show for AEW to, for AEW next Saturday. You already know AEW has been hitting the nail when it comes to these pay-per-views, man. So far, they've been like six for six when it comes to AEW pay-per-views. So I think this one will be no exception. So I'm not going to talk about the pre-show. I'm just going to go down the list from the first match all the way to the to the to what will most likely be the main event of the show. And then... Uh, you know, we'll go from there. But Mark Briscoe is going to defend his Ring of Honor World Championship against Chris Jericho. So now we got another championship from AEW that's not from AEW being defended on AEW. You know, it just goes to show you what's going on with Ring of Honor right now. But nevertheless, um, I'm going to go with Mark Briscoe. I think Mark Briscoe going to beat Chris Jericho. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't really need to really go further into it because um, there's really nothing much with this build. I mean, they literally just pretty much announced it on the Learning Tree this past Wednesday on Dynamite. So, I mean, there you have it. I think Mark Briscoe going to end up beating Chris Jericho. Darby Allen take is taking on Brody King. Because now Darby had put out an open challenge. Because he was originally supposed to fight Danielson, but we all saw what happened at Grand Slam with him and Moxley. So now Allen was left without opponent, but he still wanted to wrestle at Wrestle Dream. And he put out an open challenge, and it seems like Brody King accepted his challenge. So you already know there's going to be a crazy of a matchup. Brody King is going to toss around Darby Allen like he's a goddamn pillow. But um, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I think Darby Allen gets the win somehow, some way. You know, he just lost at Grand Slam. I don't think he's going to lose it at, at Wrestle Dream. Jack Perry is going to take on Katsuyori Shibata for the AEW TNT Championship. Um, most of these matches, I don't want to say they were kind of put together last minute. Um, I know this match was kind of announced last week. Shibata just went up to Jack Perry and was like, Google Translate, I want you for your title. And Perry was like, I accept. So that's how we got this match. But it should still be pretty good, obviously. I don't think Ketsu or Shabazz is going to win. I think Jack Perry is going to end up retaining his AEW TNT Championship. So, but nevertheless, you already know Ketsu or Shibata are he going to bring up a fight or bring out a fight. It just won't be good enough to win in the title. Now, you got this three-way dance for the AEW International Championship. Will Ospreay, Ricochet, Kanotsuke, Ketsuka. You already know there's about to be match of the night. I mean... Will Ospreay is clearly easily one of the best wrestlers in AEW. Some might say he's one of the best wrestlers in the world. And when you add Ricochet and Kanonsuke Takeshka, like, Ospreay and Ricochet hit their match, you know, this past Wednesday. But Ospreay and KT had their match back at Revolution, which I still think was one of probably one of the best AEW matches of this year. But you want to know something, man? I think they got to give it to Kanotsuke, man. I think he needs to... Like, he don't have to pin Will Ospreay. He can pin Ricochet to do it. But um, I think KT should win, should win the international championship, man. I feel like he needs this one more. Because um, I don't know, man. Because KT got a lot of potential to be something. But AEW just... They just be putting him in these situations where he be losing and he can never really get that big shine. You know what I mean? So I think this is the right way to do it. Put the world, put the international championship on him. I don't think it's going to hurt Ricochet. It surely ain't going to hurt Will Ospreay. And uh, you can kind of go from there. Now the Young Bucks, they're defending their tag team titles against Private Party. You know, the first thing that comes to my mind of this match is Literally, the match they had on Dynamite all those years ago. Private Party shocking the world when they beat the Young Bucks. What was a really, really good match. I don't think this match will be no exception from their match they had on them years ago. But I think in this case, 
I don't think Private Party is going to win. I'll be kind of shocked that they do. Um, but Young Bucks, I think, are going to end up retaining their tag team titles. Now, uh, Mariah May, I don't know Title Tuesday, um, or at least the participants in Title Tuesday, but she's taking on the winner of that match for the AEW Women's World Championship. So I can't even tell you what participants are in the Title Tuesday match. Um, you know, if you want to put it in the comment section below, you can. But um, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care if it's, you know, Chris Stadlander or Willow Nightingale. I don't care if Mary the Virgin was to descend from the heavens above. Like, Mariah May ain't losing that title anytime soon. <laughs> she She's retaining her title at, at Russell Dream. Uh, yeah, she's going to retain her title at Russell Dream. Now, the main event... It's going to be Brian Danielson versus John Moxley for the AEW World Championship. You already know what's been going on with this storyline, so I don't really need to get into it. But one thing I will say, we've been, John has been talking about it for days, for weeks, since the moment he came back to AEW. This, this, this purpose and how he can't really get into it now, but, but this. He's not the one calling the shots. Clearly, there's someone he's answering to. Clearly, there's someone that Marina Shafir is answering to, the rest of the BCC is answering to. But the gosh darn question is who? Who, who is John Moxley talking about in these promos? Who is he talking about in these vignettes? Like, who is this higher calling that he's bringing up? A lot of people point to Shane McMahon. Honestly, Shane McMahon being in AEW would be really interesting. Um... Especially with him being the higher calling to John Moxley and his group, so it'd be really curious to see if they go in that direction. So if like Shane McMahon was to show up in AEW and like obviously, you know, reveal himself, it would be really interesting. It would be really, really interesting. I'm not gonna lie to you, and I think it would really make people want to tune in to AEW just to see why Shane there, why is he the higher calling. What's the gosh darn purpose of this group? But as far as the AEW World Championship is concerned, a part of me does still say John Moxley, but at the same time, you still got Christian Cage who can cash in. But then again, Christian Cage can kind of cash in down the road. He don't need to do it now. So I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think John Moxley does it. I think John Moxley ends up beating Brian Danielson. I want to say Brian Danielson, they had already pretty much stated that Russell Dream was going to be his last match as a, as officially as a full-time competitor. So he drops the title, and we don't hear from Brian Danielson for quite a while because John Moxley, he's been saying that he needs to end the career of Brian Danielson. Beating him for the world title at Russell Dream is how you do it. Um, and I want to say they're in Danielson's hometown. Tomoka, Washington. But um, overall, man, um, Wrestle Dream, like I said, should be a really good show. So we'll see what happens. Um, let me know in the comments who do y'all think going to win at, at Wrestle Dream and who do y'all think are going to lose at Wrestle Dream. But